What's up guys welcome to today's vlog today i have a brand new tool to show you guys so we're gonna do a haircut with this tool as well this is the donald scott twist so you guys have seen the carving comb in a lot of my videos which has the 100 percent cut side the 50 percent carved side and usually a comb well this is the twist which has a twisting rotating handle so you can choose whatever comb you want to so we're going to use this tool and also announce that it is available on freesaloneducation.com you can get it for $34.95 really cool tool to work with and add to your collection so um, the haircut that we did today is a nice long haircut i wanted to do a long layered haircut because i believe that a lot of people uh, get confused with elevation and razor cutting so i wanted to show you guys how elevation and razor cutting works well together and how you can create different elevations without actually elevating the hair. I know that sounds very confusing. So the mannequin that we cut today, this is the nice soft fringe that we create. Also some nice layering throughout the haircut. So you can see a uh, nice soft, a lot of texture, but it's a soft haircut. It doesn't look like it was razored and that's the whole point of the cut today. So I hope you guys like the technique. We're gonna get started, here we go. All right guys, so you're gonna start off this haircut by parting your guest's hair in the natural way that they wanna wear it. So if they wear it on the left-hand side, part on the left-hand side. If they wear it on the right-hand side, uh, do it that way. We did it on the left-hand side for this uh, demonstration. Then I go from the high point of the head, the apex, down to behind the ear. And then I draw a line from that point at the apex all the way to the opposite side, uh, pretty low, right below the parietal ridge, kind of the recession point of the head uh, to section off the top section. It looks more like a triangle. And then uh, I go from the apex down to behind the ear and separate that triangle. So we're basically creating three different triangles on the front of the head to separate the front and the back. I like to braid off the hair. It seems to be uh, a good way to section. It also uh, is a good presentation for your guest as well. You don't have to use as many clips, uh, but it keeps the hair nice and separated and pulled away nice and tight. Uh, so we did a couple braids and then clipped it away. Now I'm gonna go across the occipital bone. So I went vertical straight back and then across the occipital bone to create my panel. Then I do the same thing on the opposite side and twist that up and clip it away. So creating two sections on the back and then I start working uh, straight down in the back of the head. Now I did say we were gonna use a razor in this cut. We are, but I like to clean up the bottom of the haircut to start this one off to get a nice clean guideline and pick my length uh, when I do a razor cut. I don't want the bottom of this haircut to look too broken. If you wanted it to be kind of broken up, a little more textured looking, then you definitely could go in with the razor and cut the baseline. But I'm just holding everything down at a nice zero degree uh, angle and creating that cut. Now check out the angle that's created by holding the hair down at a zero degree angle. Because of the head shape and how the head shape curves in from the occipital bone down, you get that 45 degree angle by holding the hair all the way down. So you're getting a nice soft bevel on the edge. Now this is the Donald Scott twist. This is the new tool that we have on freesaloneducation.com. Love this tool because it's nice and uh, compact. It's a small version of the carving comb, but it has the same functionality um, and it's also allows you to use whatever comb you want to so if you're more used to using a traditional razor or you're just doing a razor cut and you're not adding too much scissor work in there this is a great tool for that so now i'm going to bring everything out vertical half inch section bringing out to me nice quick strokes with the razor the quicker the stroke with the razor the more of a line that you create so if you're trying to create more of a precision feel to a haircut if you do quick strokes with it you're going to get a more precision feel the larger the stroke, the more layered you're going to get the hair. So now I'm gonna show you guys a demonstration on if you use a larger stroke with the razor. So we created a tighter stroke to create more foundation on the base part of the haircut. Now I'm going in with a much larger stroke and also look at the angle I'm using that razor with. No matter what razor you're using on the hair, it should be at a 45 degree angle as you go in to cut the hair. But because I'm using such solid, heavy strokes with the razor, you're gonna see that when I go to elevate it up, it's just like holding it out at pretty much 90 degrees. So the more heavy you are with the strokes on the razor, 
it's just like holding the hair way up in the air. So a lot of people say, well, how do you cut the hair when you hold it in the air with a razor? You don't have to because it's all based on how you take the strokes with the razor. Now you can hold it up in the air. There's different techniques for that. But for me, I like to hold the hair down because that's where it's going to fall anyways and just use larger strokes to remove more bulk and create more of a layered look. So now I separate, I'm working on the opposite side and because I don't want to work with too much hair in my hand, I kind of flip the top over so I only work with half of the section. So I go through with that tight stroke again, uh, everything's coming straight back to me. Um, so customize that to fit your guest if you want the... Um, if you want to work with over direction or whatever in the back, you can and just understand what it's going to do for you. I'm going straight out because I want to create a more balanced feel in the back of the head as opposed to over direction, which is going to push weight uh, behind the ear, which is not really what I'm looking to create. So now uh, through the top again, heavy stroke with the razor, creating those layers. And this just gives it a nice, soft, kind of seamless feel to the back of the haircut. Now I'm using a nice fresh razor blade. That's the most important part about razor cutting. A lot of you out there that are afraid of using razors or you have clients that are afraid of you using a razor, just educate them on the fact that if you use a fresh blade and also we're using the uh, Donald Scott Liquid Tool Glide, our prepare spray, uh, which prepares the hair for razor cutting. It's a phenomenal product for getting that slip on the hair and keeping the hair nice and conditioned. So now I go through, I create the face frame, basically the way that I did that, because we kind of rushed through it, I comb the hair down, I slide the razor along the face frame just to create that, but it also leaves a little bit of extra weight in there as well. Now for the top, I comb everything over to me, that entire top section, I bring it over, I do a nice heavy stroke. This is kind of the uh, finale of the haircut, the part that I love the most because it has the most impact in the whole look. You bring it over to you, you cut the entire top, and it's done. And that's the great thing about this haircut and this tool is that you can cut that much hair at once, condense cutting, and you get all that movement, all the layers in there um, to finish off the haircut. So now we're going to go through, we're going to start to blow it dry. I'm going to use Bricado Active, which is a nice uh, oil, it's a finishing oil. I'm going to put that in the hair. It's going to give me a nice sleek look. I brush the product through with my Ergo paddle brush, and then I start my blow dry. I'm going to do a flat wrap around, a little bit of lift with the paddle brush so I don't flatten the hair too much, but just really following the head shape. Don't we all wish we could make hair dry that quickly? And then I go through with my Vibra Straight Iron. The thing I love most about this iron, if you guys are looking for a new iron, is the fact that it vibrates as you pass over the hair. So it doesn't put as much friction on the hair, so it creates less damage, and it just runs over the hair a lot smoother. Now we're going to go in with our Puffin Scissor. This is our Mizutani Puffins. Um, it's a dry cutting scissor. So I just want to define that face frame just a little bit more. And then I'm going to go through and do some teeth cutting. Now I wanted to break down tease cutting. I've done this in many videos, but some of you guys are first time watchers. So as I cut into the hair, I slowly close. So watch my thumb. If you need to rewind it and play it back, watch my thumb and how I close down on the hair. Um, and then you'll get faster and faster at it uh, as you go. But just keep practicing it. It's something you can do while you watch TV um, and just go through and slide it. Same focus on this technique, just moving that thumb and go through and slide cutting and breaking up that face frame. Last little bit, a little bit of a slide cutting technique again, uh, tease cutting technique, I guess. And that's the end look. Add a little bit of firm maximum hold hairspray from Bricado as well. And that finishes off our look. I wanted this to not feel too textured and too undone. I wanted a nice soft cut because a lot of people think that the razor is damaging. A razor is not damaging as long as you have a brand new blade and you prepare the hair the way that it should be done. Hope you guys like it. All right, guys, if you like this cut, then definitely let me know in the comments below. Also, if you would like to pick up a Donald Scott twist on freesaloneducation.com, run over there and do it. I'm also offering 20% off the entire store uh, if you use the code MattBeckVlog. So if you're looking for scissors, combs, clips, anything, go check it out on there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go join fscsocial.com, create a profile, talk to all the thousands of hairdressers on there. I look forward to talking to you on there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.